Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into one of the important assertion method that is assert true method. The assertion class provides a static assert true method. This method helps us validate that the value supplied to it is true. This method takes actual value and checks whether it is true or not. If the actual value is true, the test case will pass. If the actual value is false, then test case will fail. So let us go to the API doc for this assert true method and let us verify all these points. So go to the browser and in a new tab, just type JUnit assertions Java doc. So basically this is from JUnit for you and hit enter and go ahead and choose the latest version that is JUnit 5.11.0. Alright. So JUnit for you has an assertion class and it has a static method assert true. So here just click on this method and just search for assert true method. So look at here, here is a assert true method and it is a static method. And this assert true method checks the supplied condition is true. And notice here there are overloaded assert true methods. So these are the six overloaded assert true methods and we'll you know see all of them with an example. Okay, so just remember assert true method we use to verify that the supplied condition is true. Let's go to IntelliJ IDEA and let us see assert true method in an action. So let us head over to the IntelliJ IDEA over here and here go to the base package and here let's create the class under test first. So for that let's first create a student class. Within a student class let's create a instance variables public int id and then public string student name. So let us keep these two fields as of now and let's quickly create a constructor, generate constructor and choose these two fields. Click on OK. Next, let us also create a getter setter methods. Right click, generate and click on getter and setter. Choose the fields and click on OK. Perfect. Now we have created a student class. Next, let's create a one more class and let's give name as student service. So this is basically a class under test. Within a student service class, let's create a method. It will return a list of students. So before that, let's declare a list of student, you know, instance variable. So list of type student let's call it as students equal to new array list perfect next let's create a method it will return a list of students public list top type student let's give method name as get students and just return this dot students Perfect. So here is a typo instead of string. Let us pass student. Perfect. Now we have created get students method. Next, let's also create a one more method public and then wide. Let's give method name as add student. Next, pass student as a parameter student, student. And then here, let's call students dot add and then pass student perfect next let us go ahead and let us write the JUnit test case to test this get students method so in order to create a test methods we need to first create a test class so just select this class right click on it show context actions click on this create test and here keep class name as student service test destination package let us give net dot java guides dot assertions we keep all the assertions within assertions package next click on ok now we have a test class within a test class let's create a test method so here just type public and then wide let's give method name as get students test perfect 
next let us make this method as a test method by annotating it with add test annotation perfect next within this method let's create object of student service student service student service equal to new student service next let's have a list of type student and let's say list of students and then call student service it has get students method perfect so this get students method basically returns a list of students right next let's create a local variable of type boolean boolean actual result equal to list of students dot is empty so basically here we are checking the list of students is empty or not okay so as of now you can see this get students method returns empty list because we haven't added any students to the list isn't it next here let us go ahead and let us use assert true method to verify that the list of students is empty so for that let us go ahead and let us type assert true so notice here there are multiple overloaded assert true methods and we have to choose the appropriate one in our case first we are going to test this assert true method it takes single parameter okay so go ahead and choose this assert true method and then pass actual result so notice here the actual result is of type boolean right and this assert true method basically verifies that the supplied boolean condition is true if the supplied boolean condition is true then this test will pass and if the supplied boolean condition is false then this assert fails and this test method will be marked as a failed okay for example if i run this test case you can see the output test passed because the actual result is true next let us go ahead and let us add one of the student to the list and let us see how this assert true method behaves so here let's create a student object student student equal to new student and pass student id 1 and let us say name ramesh perfect so let us see what is the typo here name id so let's go to student class and here in the constructor we have given the name first so let us give id as a first parameter and name as a second parameter okay perfect and here also you can order the declarations id first name second okay perfect let's go back to student service test okay now we have a student object let's add this student object to the list so here just call student service it has add student method and then pass student object now we have added a student object to the list next when we call the get students method it return a single student in the list and this is method will basically returns a false because the list is not empty right next if i run this test case it should fail so notice here the output test failed because expected is true but was false all right so this is empty basically returns a boolean value false and this actual result contains a value false and we are passing the boolean value false to the assert true method okay so basically this assert true method verifies that the supplied boolean condition or a value should be true if it is false then the assertion fails and it mark the test case as a failed so that is what we can see in the output okay perfect now we understood the assert true method it takes single parameter next let us see the other overloaded methods so here let me comment out this and here let's call assert true and let us call this assert true method it takes boolean supplier as a functional interface so boolean supplier is a functional interface and we have to provide the lambda implementation for the boolean supplier interface so let us have a lambda syntax and the lambda has a body actual result all right so basically here we are using boolean supplier because the boolean supplier logic will be evaluated lazily it means the assert true method will execute this logic only if it is required 
all right so this basically supports uh, java 8 features like lambda expression functional interfaces and all those stuff so in order to support ja lam you know lambda expressions and functional interfaces uh, this method was introduced next let us go ahead and let us run the test and you can see the output test failed because this actual result contains a value false if i don't add student to the list then the list is empty and this actual result contains a value true and then this test will pass for example if i run this test case you can see test passed okay perfect now we have seen you know the usage of a sort of method it takes boolean supplier functional interface next let us see other overloaded methods let me comment out this and here just call assert true method it takes two parameters first parameter is a boolean condition second parameter is a message so just select this method over here and just pass actual result as a first parameter second parameter is the custom message let's give the custom failure message list of students is empty something like that and right now the actual result contains the true that's why the message we won't see in the console for example if i run the test case this test case will get passed and you can see the custom error message haven't printed in a console because the test has passed if the test failed then junit will you know display the report with this custom failure message for example let us say we add a student to the list let me uncomment this now we have added ramesh student to the list and this is empty method return false and now we are passing false value to the assert true and then this is the message in this case the assert true method you know will get fail and it will mark this test as a failed for example if i run this test case you can see the test failed and you can see the custom message list of student is empty so whatever the custom failure message we have given here that is what printed over here and then then expected true but was false false because we have added a student to the list that's why it says false okay so this is how if we want to add some more details to this failed test then we can go ahead and give those details in the message you know section all right and those details we can see here in a results whenever the test got failed all right so this is the usage of this assert true method it takes two parameters next let us see other overloaded methods just type assert true and next let us call this assert true method it takes boolean supplier with message so just call this method and then pass lambda expression implementation of boolean supplier so this is the lambda symbol and then pass actual result in the body this is the first parameter second parameter is the you know message so let us give message something like list of students is empty well notice here the first parameter is the boolean supplier functional interface so this boolean supplier implementation will be evaluated lazily it means this logic will be executed only when the assertion is executed so this logic won't be executed initially when the assertion is executed that time this you know boolean supplier implementation logic will be evaluated next if the boolean supplier implementation returns you know boolean value true then this assertion passes and then jnit test case will be passed if the boolean supplier you know returns the value false then assertion false and then test case should be you know failed all right so test case will be failed with this you know custom failure message for example if i run the test case you can see the result list of students is empty because expected true but was false next let us go and let us explore other assert true overloaded methods so let me comment out this and here just type assert true and in this case let us choose 
the sorter method it takes boolean condition and supplier functional interface so let us pass first parameter as actual result second parameter as the implementation of supplier functional interface so supplier is the functional interface and we have to provide the lambda expression implementation to the supplier functional interface so here is the lambda syntax let us pass message in the body list of students is empty well notice here the second parameter supplier functional interface implementation so this logic will be executed whenever the test case will fail if the test case will fail then this logic will be evaluated and this message will be printed in the results if the test case will get passed then this logic won't be executed and this message won't be printed in the results so basically this logic will be evaluated based on the test case you know status like whether the test case passes or you know fail for example if i run the test case you can see the test phase failed because the actual result contains the value false because the list is not empty okay we have added a student to the list and list is not empty that's why the assert true methods evaluates the actual result and if the actual result is false then the test case will get fail and look at here the message list of students is empty in a result okay if the test case will get passed then this message won't be printed for example let me comment out this add student logic let me save it let me run the test case again and you can see test passes all right next let us go and get to see one more assert true overloaded method so let me comment out this and here just type assert true and in this case choose this one first parameter is a boolean supplier second parameter is a supplier function interface and just use the lambda expression implementation for this supplier boolean supplier and then use lambda implementation for supplier function interface so here is the lambda syntax and then pass message in the body list of students is empty perfect next here you can see list of students is empty that's why this assertion will get pass and the test will get pass and if i run the test case this should pass all right test passed next if i add a student to the list then this test should fail because the actual result contains a value false next if i run the test case you can see test failed and the custom failure message all right so this is how we can use multiple overloaded assert true methods to evaluate or verify the boolean condition in next lecture we'll take a look into one more assertion method that is assert false method so assert false method is opposite to this assert true method all right great i will see you in the next lecture